Beneath the turquoise waters of the Sea of Cortez, the world's largest fish glides effortlessly, the whale shark. In this episode, we'll take a closer look at their fascinating world and uncover what makes them so extraordinary. From above, their sheer size is astonishing. Growing up to 60 feet long, whale sharks are the largest fish in the world. When I learned they could grow that large, I had to double check. It turns out, the largest accurately measured whale shark was 61.7 feet long, roughly 18.8 meters. The average length is between 18 and 32 feet. Here is footage of the largest one I've seen to date. This one measured about 40 feet long. For a fish that big, you'd be surprised to learn that newborns measure only 21 to 25 inches. Yet despite their massive size as adults, they are completely harmless sharks. Size isn't the only thing that makes whale sharks remarkable. If you take a closer look, you'll notice something even more fascinating, their patterns. Every shark is covered in a unique constellation of white spots and stripes. No two are exactly alike, just like human fingerprints. Scientists actually use these patterns to identify and track individuals. By photographing the patterns alongside the pectoral fin, scientists can identify individual sharks for years. Needless to say, along with their size, it's the constellation of dots that makes this shark so unique. But these markings aren't just beautiful, they also serve a purpose. It's believed that their spots help with camouflage, breaking up their outline in the shimmering water to help them blend into the ocean. Swimming alongside one is truly one of the most unforgettable experiences I've had in the ocean. Experiences like this are what keep me coming back to the Sea of Cortez. It's no wonder Jacques Cousteau called it the world's aquarium. But there's more to these gentle giants than just their size and markings. Their method of feeding is one of the most fascinating aspects of their biology. Despite their enormous size, whale sharks feed primarily on the smallest creatures in the ocean. Whale sharks feed on plankton. Plankton may not seem like much, but it's the foundation of the ocean's food web. Unlike most sharks, whale sharks don't rely on sharp teeth to hunt. Instead, they're filter feeders, scooping up plankton, small fish, and krill by simply swimming with their mouths open. Their gills act like a strainer, trapping food while expelling water. A single whale shark can filter thousands of gallons of water per hour. With their constant need for food, whale sharks are always on the move. But where do they go? These gentle giants embark on some of the longest migrations in the ocean, traveling thousands of miles in search of plankton-rich waters. This is why the Sea of Cortez seems to be a prime location for these giants. The deep ocean canyons provide plenty of upwelling that brings plankton to the bays and to the shallow areas that provide shelter to juvenile whale sharks. By feeding on these tiny organisms, whale sharks help maintain the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. In the Sea of Cortez, where I filmed this footage, whale sharks gather seasonally when plankton blooms create an all-you-can-eat buffet. But it was far from these familiar waters out in the Pacific Ocean that I witnessed one of the most remarkable encounters of my life. Near a deep canyon, a whale shark appeared. 
but this time the setting was different. This location is known for something else. It's a gathering place for some of the largest great white sharks in the world. Finding a whale shark here was unexpected. I knew this was a rare opportunity, perhaps a chance to witness something truly special. What happened next was one of the greatest scenes I'll probably ever witness. Look closely. There are five great white sharks in this scene, and the whale shark has just emerged. The size difference is striking. Great whites are massive, but next to a whale shark, their scale becomes even more apparent. But beyond just size, this moment is something truly extraordinary. Two of the largest fish on the planet sharing the same waters moving in perfect proximity. And from below, in the water, the view can only be described as a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Seeing these giants coexist in the ocean is a privilege, one that not everyone gets to experience firsthand. Moments like this remind me of why I do what I do. Well sharks and great white sharks are both facing increased threats from human activity. Despite their size, whale sharks are especially vulnerable. They migrate across international waters where protections vary, and their slow reproductive rates make population recovery difficult. Whale sharks are classified as endangered by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And while their populations are hard to estimate, it's believed that they've declined significantly over the last few decades. Every time I'm in the water with these creatures, I'm reminded of how much we still have to learn and how important it is to protect the spaces where they live. For me, these encounters are more than just awe-inspiring moments. They're a call to appreciate nature. Whether it's a whale shark swimming gracefully through the Sea of Cortez, or these close encounters that bring us face to face with them, each experience is a glimpse into a world that still holds many mysteries. I hope that these images inspire you to step into nature and to learn about the species of all sizes. As always, stay curious, my friends, and thank you for watching.